Hai, kita selamat datang kepada semua Kipas Usaha Mati Gempak kepada segmen terbaru kami Aku Ada, Kau Ada Okey Buat segmen terbaru ni kita orang akan menjemput tetamu undangan khas bersama toys mereka untuk dipamerkan kepada you all Okey um, Tak kira apa jenis model pun asalkan seronok it's on Okey So hari ini sebagai tetamu undangan kita yang pertama, kita menjemput saudara Aaron Hai. bersama. Okey, uh, Aaron, yeah. uh, boleh ceritakan sedikit tentang diri you dulu? Uh, Okey, uh, I'm Aaron. I work in uh, Kota Kota Gempasta and then uh, as the animator and video editor. Uh, this is my one part of my hobby. Okay. Uh, Not only Gundam I like, as long as mecha, so anything machines, robots that I will like. Uh, like you see here, there's a transformer and Gundams, but actually I have more again. This is just one part of my collection only. Yeah. And all the parts lagi ada di rumah simpan. Yeah, <laughs> rumah <laughs> banyak. Eh. Okay. Uh, since when did you collect all these toys? Wow. And what sparked you? To... What sparks me? Okay. It's so, I think around. 13 years old, yeah, I start to like toys. When I, I still remember back then, we, I follow my best friend, uh, Gaun, Gaun Saya. Uh, we went to the toy store. At that time, there's a, a Gunpla display, the Gundam display. Back then, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Gundam seat era. So that sparks me, like, actually. It started with like gun, uh, strike, Gundam strike. Then I saw that, oh, okay. This actually can customize and kind of stuff. I don't know that there's, there's customization. Back then, only thing that I know is customization is Tamiya. Ah, that's my money. There's no Gundam uh, yeah. customization yet. I don't know that they can they can customize uh, Gundam. So back then, it's like oh wow, it's like quite cool. They got guns and kind of stuff. So and I don't know can paint. Back then, I don't know. I don't spray whatever. Just fix only and put only. Back then, it's just collection only. And then slowly, slowly evolved to other things. Okay, okay. Uh, so I don't want to ask how much the cost is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rin. Uh, yeah. Where do you purchase all your toys? Wow. Well, uh, some of them I got it from online, and then some of them just go with friends. We go to like the Bajaya Times Square, uh -huh. uh, time machines, or and then um, some we just got it from like friends. Or, like they buy from uh, Japan. Club member ada? Like, imported? Yeah, imported. Yeah, yeah, imported. Yeah. Okay. Um. And what's your favorite? Well, there's no favorite. Everyone there's Transformers is my and there's Gundam yeah. and there's a lot of uh different kind of yeah, models. Yeah, agree, agree. And none of them, all of them are my favorite lah. <laughs> all of them. There's a reason. That's why I buy them lah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you break uh break down what's in front of us right now? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, this is uh Transformer from uh Optimus Prime. Uh, leader class, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the generation movie version, generation one. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's from uh, Revenge of the Fallen, right? Yeah, yeah, movie. not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, two of them is a uh, Mark and Skid, the both are twin brother. I used to have more again, <laughs> but a lot of them I didn't bring, and then plus some of them I saw already. Yeah. Oh, uh, so yeah, and then uh, the rest is Gundam related. Yeah. <laughs> For here is the what things sparked me uh, is from the Gun, Gundam Build Fighter. Uh, this is the F2000 Super Zaku, and then uh, next is the Amazing Zaku, and one more is the SD Zaku. Let's just try out. It's quite, quite, it's quite fun actually. And how about this one? This, this is, is my kind of different. Yeah, it's just kind, it's kind, kind of different. This is actually my own custom Gundam. It's based on Gundam Axia. It's a basically it's a two end boss. Uh, end boss Gunpla is a uh, season one and season two. Uh, Gundam Amazing Axia and then plus is a uh, season two is a uh, Gundam Transient. So both I combine them. Just take around few months to build and customize it. Yeah. So uh, what's the difference? Uh, the customization. Well, mean? first of all, Axia only have around seven sorts. This is like twelve sorts. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. <laughs> And all can go together. Yeah, in one all they piece. can combine. Yeah, even they can actually can change more actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, and how about uh, 
uh, Optimus Prime here. I think it can compatible with uh, Jetfire, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And but Jetfire is not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me, it's broken. Yeah, it's broken yeah, down. He's injured. Right? He's injured. So, uh, what's next for you? Maybe uh, you can you want to customize a different kind of Gundam? Definitely, definitely, definitely have uh, something in mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, few of them actually. The next project. Next project. Well, uh, we'll see how this. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah. busy with uh, yeah. with work stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Aaron. Yeah. I would like to know much about your transient Gundam custom. All right. Yeah. Do you mind to tell us details about your yeah, sure, 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 sure. this custom made? Yeah. Uh, well, this Gunpla. All the joints there, right? They are not original. They are pretty much like from other parts of the other Gundams. And then, like the joints, is from uh, is from Gundam Strikes. And then the joint, right? I need to modify some parts that doesn't exist. I need to add on. And then I have to create my own versions. And then, yeah, as you see, it's all jumbo parts. It's like Exia, Transium, everything. Even the back, the back part, the backpack itself is not supposed to be here. I add on it. It's supposed to have a Another part, I chop it off and then I add on the connector here. The connector is just glue, the Gundam glue. And then... It, and it stays there. Uh, it, uh, it's permanent, <laughs> it's strong. But there's a... Everything... Uh, okay, one thing about it, I use a lot of Gundam parts. Gundam's uh, hobbies, collector's glue, whatever. They have some chemical that can remove glue as well for Gundam. It will not break the plastic. Uh, yeah. And, and do you need to drill on the... Yeah, 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 definitely drill. I drill some details, make some holes, and then some connectors. Just for the parts to that, for them to connect. Yeah, some okay. Some parts, right? I I, I do spray it, and some parts, and most of them, I use the Gundam marker. I mark it, and then uh, I put a lot of decal on it. Where do you work? Oh, to, to build this. Normally, me and friend, right? We go to the Sunway, uh, uh, Rizwan. There's a hobby collector shop there. We go there. We rent the machines uh, around thirty to forty ringgit. Then we just one whole day that we for whole day. Yeah, one whole day. Yeah, we can use their tools like the air guns or whatever. Yeah, we only thing that we need to purchase is the the paint, this kind of stuff. And, and you can purchase the paint there also. Yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely. It's complete set. Yeah, complete set. It's quite quite fun actually. It's like a lot of the guys or girls they all go there together. Sometimes they just talk and then they buy and then they build up the customers they own the plus. They do even mentoring you there? Yeah, definitely. There's, uh, there's some, some of them is from uh, uh, professional. <laughs> they are, they're really good. Uh, their idea they give you a uh, pointer as well. Yeah. For me, it's, like, it's a good reason to gather. And then we all talk, joke around, and then makan. And then we, we share ideas. The most important we share ideas uh, and share tools. Uh, yeah. Information is... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So for this segment, yeah. do you have any tips for us? Oh, uh, it yeah. Customization? Yeah. But not everything you need to buy from Gunpla Shop so that is actually quite pricey. Certain things that you can use, like the, you know, the mannequin and uh, manicure. Is that manicure? Those uh, girls yeah, have the, the household, household stuff items. or it's slightly cheaper. You can buy like the files or even the nail polish. Nail polish, right? Normally people use it on the finishing for the glossy parts, like the, the what do you call it? The decal. Ah, it's like the. Actually, there's a there's a lens at that, right? You add on the, the nail polish, whatever. It actually make it more gloss out, it more glow out like that. It doesn't affect the plastic. It doesn't affect the plastic at all. Like, yeah, this kind of stuff. And then the the what do you call it? There's a buffer, the nail buffer, right? Actually, the nail buffer is very good for the transparent clear parts when you want to remove the joints and kind of stuff. It's it's way cheaper and it actually it's quite good. It's as good as the actual uh, what's called Bandai brand. It's good. The Bandai brand is really good. It's designed for Gunpla already, but the price is a bit pricey. So mm. the next uh, tips, uh, the the next things that you can go as close as possible is you can get this uh, nail buffer, nail polisher, this kind of stuff. It's actually quite good. And cheap as well. You can get. Oh, you can get it anywhere. You can get or your house. You have it already. Just you can use it a bit and then yeah. Okay. Um... I think that's all for today. So see you uh, on the next segment. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye.